You know what Hugh Hefner does after Thanksgiving dinner? It's got nothing to do with breasts or legs, but stick around. This episode is stuffed with facts. Thanksgiving became a national holiday thanks to the woman who wrote Mary Had a Little Lamb. She sent letters to five presidents over 36 years, finally convincing Lincoln to make it a holiday in 1863. But in 1941, President Roosevelt officially made Thanksgiving the fourth Thursday of every November. Now, Roosevelt is one of many famous descendants of the Mayflower, a group that includes Hugh Hefner. Hef's Thanksgiving seemed to be pretty low-key. In 09, he tweeted he spent it with family and friends and followed up dinner with a screening of Twilight New Moon. Must have been a lady's choice, because Hef likes superheroes like Batman and Superman. Oh yeah, Christopher Reeve, another famous descendant of the Mayflower, and from the same guy. But back to breasts. White meat is so popular among Americans that turkeys are bred to have breasts so big they have trouble standing, walking, and mating, so they have to be artificially inseminated. Now, how do you artificially inseminate a turkey? Well, one option is a mini turkey baster. The invention of the turkey baster seems to be lost to history. Chances are they didn't have one at the first Thanksgiving since they didn't even have forks. Instead, they used spoons, knives, and their fingers. And turkey wasn't even the centerpiece of the meal. Historians think goose or duck was the main course. Nowadays, 91% of Americans serve turkey on Thanksgiving, and the other 9% is beef, pork, and a little lamb. Do you have something other than turkey at Thanksgiving or have weird family traditions? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to PopSpot and I'll see you here every Monday when we get smarter in seconds.